Lads, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. What's going on? Hope you like me in 4K quality because I've gone through a lot of effort to get this to 4K. Haven't really, to be honest. I just started recording from the camera, but it requires a little bit extra effort and my recording software, my editing software, I should say, struggles with the 4K quality. So it takes me longer to edit the videos and it takes me longer to render them and upload them. So if I don't get at least five to 10 comments with people saying, wow, Drew, you look amazing in 4K quality. And please actually choose the 4K quality option when you have the little cogwheel down the bottom right-hand corner or top right, I think if you're watching on a- Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Lads, today we got Knocked Loose, A Tear in the Fabric of Life. These guys won the latest Patreon core poll where we choose the core albums that we're gonna be reacting to next. These guys won with their EP, A Tear in the Fabric of Life. Now, a lot of people suggested that these guys fall into the hardcore bracket, but I see on Wikipedia that they're technically metalcore. So I guess I'll make up my own mind. I'm not too familiar with the hardcore genre, but obviously metalcore, I've done a lot of bands, a lot of deathcore. So this is kind of like a new venture we're going down. There is a video, an animated film and full EP video, I guess, that comes with, that accompanies the track. So I'm also gonna check that one out as well. So guys, interested to hear what these guys sound like overall if you have not already be much appreciated if you could drop a like and also just let me know what 4k looks like please let me know because i just want it to look amazing guys let's get into it this video contains bright flashing images and material that might be disturbing to some audiences viewer discretion is advised there you go lads make of that what you will my job is done because i pause the video and let you guys know in advance I feel like I'm gonna get an ad in the middle of this and I still haven't got ad blocker and I'm sorry in advance, okay? Why am I scared? Is this like CGI or actual footage? Will Putney, another name that is consistently coming up in these, uh, bands pretty sure he produced fit for an autopsy if i'm not mistaken could be wrong could be right though if i'm right i look smart now where light divides the holler does air up cause a tear in the space-time continuum no, but what it does do is add flavour to water, not with sugar or sweeteners, but with scents. And that's pretty groundbreaking, because while you drink plain water, you taste scents like cola or peach. is so angry. Oh my god. These guys literally sound like they're angry at me for not having an ad blocker. Kind of reminds me of Darko, that uh, <laughs> alarm sound. The sugar as well. There's that epilepsy kicking in. We've probably just lost a few viewers. I'd love to, like, I wonder how many people are actually just dying at home right now watching my video because they didn't see the intro where I gave the epilepsy warning. Probably not something to joke about, but. A tear in the fabric of life. Why 
what the fuck was that call out? Oh my god. These motherfuckers are angry. I've got my gym playlist packed at the moment. I've been listening to a lot of angry bands recently and these guys are going to top the bill. Ah, oh, fuck off. Everyone's telling me to turn off the ads. Even the ads are telling me to turn off the ads. I can't tell if there's a frame rate issue or if the video is intentionally like framey. It's like stop motion. It's like it's some kind of like tool video. Tripping balls watching this. Interesting, the lack of bass in this. It's so thin, though. Oh, yeah. Ah, don't do that to me. Yeah! Alright. Some reason I never like this drumming pattern. I don't know what this is from a technical standpoint. What am I watching right now? Heavy! Oh my god! Oh man. Am I correct in saying hardcore is that genre where people literally go around throwing spinning head kicks at each other? Pretty sure that's what it is. I've spoken about this in a recent video where I mentioned it and I'm pretty sure it is these gigs that you see people just fucking it's essentially a royal rumble very funny clips coming out where people just fucking back flipping off the stage and landing on people's heads and then just fucking elbowing them your spot for choice ah uh, i'm gonna get fucking slayer for this i'm actually dreading this i'm not even joking supermax straight to your door like the alternative is to just go and find an ad blocker right now i know i'm kind of ruining the vibe a bit and I'm so sorry. But I blame Knock Loose for putting ads in between each song. That's all I'm saying. Vocalist Cadence is so cool. Oh, 
feel like it's gonna be one of those cadences that I. Jesus. the main difference between hardcore and metalcore because the only real difference is the very obvious delivery of the vocal delivery I can't tell if we're getting like a fade out or if this is leading into a breakdown. that Slenderman that's the vibe I'm getting off this I was trying to think what the video was reminding me of again we're probably gonna get done with another ad here in a minute apologies I'm not gonna start changing it now we're too deep but let me know what the main difference is between hardcore and metalcore because all I'm hearing is the aggression differences metalcore is nowhere near as angry as this and the vocalist's cadence is very distinguishable. I know I've only started to hear him, but I feel like this is going to be one of those guys I'll be able to pick out from. A group of vocalists, you know? Like uh, Zach De La Rocha from Rage Against the Machine. He has that like higher pitched scream. Very, very distinct. I like that riff. Yeah, open pockets of space. That is all me. room feel there was sick oh. On the drumming. Oh, he's still doing it. Yeah, 
Normally I'm not the biggest fan of these faster segments, but I kind of like it in this. Oh, that's sick. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That's so trippy. some final boss shit going on here oh my god they're literally about to walk in there all together wow is this the outro track already okay groundskeeper really getting a shout out what the fuck is going on here oh it's not over Oh god. How are they gonna make a heavy track out of someone doing gardening? Fuck me, this is intense. Oh my god. Okay. Unnecessary armbar. And knee bar. Get out of my ear! That's fucking, like, ASMR. Introducing Gremlin. Ah, get off my f <laughs> screen! On your browser extension for I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get so much hate for all these ads. Give me all that. Alright, stop doing it once I start. Oh, start doing it again. Something tells me don't follow the illuminated butterfly. I've watched too many horror movies. But no, that's a bad idea. Try to warn you. Wow. 
That'd actually be a sick tattoo, whatever the fuck was going on there. Oh, that's a dirty riff. That is dirty. How's a skeleton gonna have another rib cage? Did you see that correctly? Jesus Christ. Jesus! How much death do you want in this video? Yes! That's a sick shot. Sugar-esque ultra riff as well. I'm happy. Give me one more time. Yeah! Um, one more? Yes, maybe one more. It's a scientifically proven fact. The more times they play a riff in an outro of a track when it's already good, it just gets better. And if they slow it down, it's extra points. That was so much that I actually don't even know if I liked it or not. Is that a fair fair assessment there was so much that i was just just bear witness to that i actually can't give a fair assessment of whether or not i even like it or not definitely a lot of cool moments as an entire project i'll have to spin that a few times before i can really say yeah like look this is a sick outro So all of that chaos that we've just witnessed went on within the walls of those fucking pyramids. There was py What's up with all the symbolism with all the triangles everywhere? That's the Illuminati shit right there. Yeah, like I said, that was so chaotic that it's actually impossible to give a, you know, definitive breakdown of what I actually did and didn't like about it. I guess I can try. Just looking at the music video alone, obviously paired with the video or the music itself, this is one of the more recent examples of, or one of the only recent examples I can think of where the music video absolutely enhanced the audio itself. The actual musical content went so well with the music video because a lot of times I prefer to just do, if I'm doing an album reaction or if I'm doing a single reaction, I do prefer to just listen to the music as opposed to doing the music video that's released with it. Sometimes if it's like a cool video that everyone's reacting to, I'll obviously jump on board. But a lot of the time if I had to pick um, and if I knew the videos that I would put out would get like the same traction if I did the video and just the audio, I think 99% of the time I would choose the audio only purely because it just allows you to focus a lot more. But in this case, you guys were definitely correct in saying that I should check out the music video that accompanies the EP because it felt like it didn't take away from my ability to listen to the actual track. Now, granted, the lyrics and the vocals, I couldn't really hear. It was so intense, a lot of screaming. That is always something that I don't really pay too much attention to. I don't really... I'm, unless I have the lyrics on screen when I'm doing like a full album reaction, I don't really know what's going on because it can be so hard to hear the nuance and everything, especially when you're not used to how a vocalist, you know, delivers his message. It can be quite hard to figure out, like, what he's saying in certain segments. So that's completely void, but that is the case with most bands, to be fair. So that doesn't really lose marks on this band. Vocalist's cadence, like I said, so fucking unique. The only thing I can really think of is the same kind of vocal style or delivery, a lot more aggressive than Zach De La Rocha, but it's that same cadence, which I, I really like. The video felt like it put me into the world that they're trying to depict with the actual music itself. Maybe if I had to just listen to the music itself, I think I'd maybe even be more lost, but I feel like they're lending a hand by explaining the vibe of the actual track. Again, I don't think any lyrical content is going to do justice to what's just gone on there. Again, I'll listen to it a few times without the music video. I think that'll help my understanding of the band a lot. But I think the main takeaway from this is, for me, is what is the difference between hardcore and metalcore 
I get Deathcore is definitely a lot more blast beat orientated and the vocal delivery is very, very intense. Can't really put my exact finger on what the difference is between this and Metalcore other than the delivery of the vocals, again, is very, very aggressive. But then again, I don't know if there's hardcore bands that are less aggressive vocal wise because then they just feel like they're the same as like a thawed out Metalcore band. That's what it sounded like to me. I do think this album or EP, if I'm to rate it, which it does feel like it's going to be hard to rate this one. I don't really know where it falls because I normally just rate albums. I will give this a... I'll give it an 8. I'll give it I'll give it an 8. Um, I definitely think it could grow on me. It definitely belongs in the gym. I do not see myself listening to it very much outside of the gym. Like a lot of these modern metalcore bands, Bad Omens, they just kind of like tick so many boxes. Like I can listen to them in the gym. I can listen to them casually, I can listen to them falling asleep. But a band like this, I have to almost be in a very particular humor to listen to it, even in the gym, uh, because I have to be like very angry. And again, I've spoken about this before. I know you don't have to be an angry person, but just for me personally, I like to listen to angry music when I'm a little bit pissed off or if I need that extra kick in the gym. A lot of the time, I'm fairly self-motivated, so I don't necessarily need that all the time. It can be a nice backtrack for like trying to hit a PR in the gym, like if you're squatting or something. But me just being honest, not sure how much I would listen to this over and over again. And that's the same with a lot of the really intense metal bands. Although I can really appreciate a lot of the time, there's just bands that kind of cover a lot more bases or tick a lot more boxes. So if they're already doing that, I don't necessarily feel there's a void in my listening, you know, catalog that these guys would slot into other than like I've already mentioned, like the gym or like a very particular day in the gym. So yeah, guys, let me know all of the questions that I asked, such as the difference between the subgenres. That's always something that's kind of confused me. Then if you asked me six months ago what the difference is between metalcore and deathcore, I wouldn't really be able to tell you. But now I'm definitely a lot more tuned in. I am learning as we go on. And that is the beauty of this, guys. So, guys, let me know if there's anything else by Knock Loose that I should add to the Patreon polls, because that is where we decide. This obviously won the latest core Patreon poll. Thank you so much for watching. That is all from me. I'm signing out. Look after yourselves. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.